is. Wow, you do it so loud. Sorry, sorry. Uh, do you want? Should we do a normal one? Do you know why? Because it hypes me up. Like, yeah, do another video. Woo! <laughs> right. Today's uh, <laughs> title of today's email is: His father wants him to marry his brother's daughter. Brackets niece. What? Just a little background for you. I am Pakistani based in the US. Last year, my sister got married in Pakistan to a very decent family, mashallah. Before she got married, I heard about my brother-in-law's nephew who lived in Canada to complete his bachelor in business. I saw him at my sister's wedding but never had a conversation with him. Days after my sister's marriage, she told me that she had a proposal for me, which was his. My aunt actually knows about his proposal. Proposal. My sister happened to be a source of communication between us. She had a group chat with her husband's two nephews. One of them too was him. I was added into the group so he can get to know me before he takes any decision of getting married and so do I. We started texting in personal chats daily and then one day I got to know that his father wants him to get married to his brother's daughter. His father is very strict about this matter and he does not listen to his son or even his wife in this matter. He only wants his brother's daughter for his son. Does she mean the dad's brother's daughter, so like his cousin, or does she mean the brother's brother's daughter? <laughs> Have you seen my face throughout this whole thing? Things, I'm so confused yeah, right now. Yeah, because one of those things would be like, um, not allowed, and one of them would be allowed. So you could, you could marry your cousin, you can't marry your niece. I, I really have no idea what's going on in this email right now. Wait, let's carry on reading and see what, see what they think. Now it's about to be one year of us talking to each other. My sister has no idea that we are in love with each other. She thinks we talk on the basis of being friends only. He wants to marry me, but he has not told this to anyone yet. He says that his father will never change his mind regarding him getting married to someone else other than his niece. He has tried convincing him before several times, but his father gets aggressive to him and even his mother. He asked me to secretly do nikah with him and that we will expose it in appropriate time. Oh, the guy wants her. All right. This way, his father will have no choice but to accept. But there's no way I can agree to this because he's my sister's... Because he's my sister-in-law. Because he is my sister-in-law? <laughs> you mean he's your brother-in-law? And I don't want my sister to go through disgrace or guilt. Please advise as to how to convince his father to agree on me as I don't want to carry on any act that could potentially bring shame to my family in the community. Please help. That email just made everything confusing. Basically, your man is not allowed to marry you because her da his dad wants him to marry his cousin. His cousin, from his brother. That's, that's what, all you should have said. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, well, to answer the question that you had right at the end there, definitely don't do a secret marriage and then reveal it later. Because anyway, secret marriages are not valid Islamically anyway. You can't do it in secret. You can tell everybody you can do it and then go ahead and do it. But don't do it in secret and then reveal it. Cause then... Well, you need a guardian anyway, don't you? Yeah. No, but like, even if it's in secret and no one knows you're married, it doesn't count. Yeah, because so... the, whole, the whole point about getting married is... is that everybody knows. That everybody like... knows you're... you're... You're married and off limits. Yeah, th there's, <laughs> th there's no point in getting married um, if nobody knows. And then having to continue like lying and sneaking yeah. around. The thing is, secret marriages don't count, and Islamically they're not valid, and it's that's for a reason. And one of the reasons will be to protect you because yeah. if you're married in secret, this guy is might be saying to you, okay, and then we'll reveal it later on. But he could literally f off and be like, no, actually. And then you're married to this guy and you end up divorcing him and it's just one big secret and you've kind of given yourself to him and he... It's there to like protect you, like marriage is not something you just do in secret and then you just carry on sneaking around and like that's not the point of it. You might as well yeah. stay in a relationship. Marriage should never be a secret. No. It defeats the purpose of a marriage. Yeah. I think Dina picked this question because of the way you worded it and props to you because you clickbaited the out of her. Think, I <laughs> thought it was the, uh, we get a million emails like this. So what I would say is, to be honest with you, he sounds like a proper traditional, like, typical dad who literally isn't gonna let his son get married to anyone other than like who he saved him for, which happens to be his brother's daughter. But having said that, guys in you know Muslim Muslim families where they're strict like that have it a lot easier and get away with a lot more things than girls. So there is a chance that you he could work at his dad and be like, well, you know what? I'm literally not marrying anyone else. I'm marrying her. But the thing is, he has to do it. He has to be upfront about about yeah. it with his dad. He has to give his dad like 
chances and chances to agree and bless it and stuff. And then if he doesn't and he's and he still insists, he can literally just say to his dad, you know what, dad, I am marrying this girl with or without your yeah. support kind of thing. And then... If it was the other way around and it was you that was getting shit from your dad, then this would be a whole other video. Yeah. But um, seeing that he's the son, my advice would just literally be to stick it out. That's yeah. literally it. Because uh, I'll be honest, my dad was against this happening. Not to the extent that you got aggressive, because... Well, his dad hasn't got aggressive either, but... But but the thing is, right, who knows, maybe he will get aggressive, but... No offence, Dad, but if you were to get aggressive... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah do, you, do you know what I mean? Okay, he's your dad and everything, but what are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm very scared. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, you're not saying you're going to hit your dad, but no, you're No, I'm not saying I'm going to hit my dad. I'm just restrain him. I'm just going to be like, no, you're hitting me. Please, stop. Uh, uh. <laughs> can you stop it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Well, the thing is... And I'm, same for you, it was your mum. I'm you, pretty sure this guy's not scared of a beating yeah, from his dad. Yeah, he's right? not scared. You wouldn't be scared. Yeah. Even four years ago when we tried to get married, like you wouldn't have been scared about getting a beating. It's more about like the arguments that, that it might yeah. cause and the awkwardness in the family, how... Because it really does affect families, this kind of thing. Um, so it's more about, like, obviously that stuff more yeah. than anything. And, like, the pressure. The pressure he's going to get. You, you, yeah, you don't need to exactly do anything. You just need to be patient. Be very patient. and Don't be, give in to a secret marriage. Don't give marriage. in. And persist with him getting his dad to change his mind. That's it. Persistence with him yeah. getting his dad to change his mind. That's That's... That, that's all the advice you could really give because finally his dad will crack and he will yeah and if he doesn't then you publicly publicly get married without him yeah like you know what i mean if this guy really wants to get married to you and his dad is refusing for no valid reason other than like oh no you have to get married to your cousin which is just stupid for no reason right then um then you know if and he really wants to marry you then he will marry you and he won't do it in secret he will literally say look I'm getting married to this girl. You either want to bless me or you don't, but this is who I'm marrying. This, this, that's, that's literally the way it is. And nothing in that secret, is, literally. Yeah. And it might be awful at first and he might, his dad might not talk to him for however long, but like he probably will come round and he'll be fine because it's a guy. Whereas if it was the girl and she just got married anyway, blah, 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 it's a lot more difficult and there's a lot more for her to risk. Unfortunately, it's just like that because girls and guys aren't treated equally in cultural communities unfortunately but that is just how it is so he should really use that fact that he is male to his advantage right his now advantage. and in the right way so nothing in secret like that because if you ask me if he tries to marry you in secret and stuff that's not 100 percent trustworthy of him um, uh, he's probably young and was like oh yeah. i just want you it, like, but, I, like I, I just wouldn't because it's not putting anyone at risk that other than you because see the thing with that is, if he was to marry you secretly and then it all came out, but he couldn't handle the reaction from the family, his family would just be like, you'll just divorce her, leave her, kind of thing. And if he cracks under that pressure, then you will literally be left to the side. Yeah. And so you're the one who's mainly affected by that rather than him. So just remember that marriage and yeah, Islamic you're... marriage that is there to protect you, so don't give that up. Do you get me? You need to be very careful. Don't just do it in secret and give up what, what is there to protect your rights. Yeah. Yeah? The only person that will be affected in the whole um, secret marriage thing, exactly like Dina said, will be you. Yeah. He could just get on with his life, whatever. Yeah, his parents... But in the community... Yeah, and it sounds like... You will be the, the one that's... Yeah. You'll be the one that people seconds. look at like, oh, she went and did this, you yeah. know, she went and did that. Not him. Not him. Yeah. He'll just be like... People will be saying that about you too. Remember, it's protect yourself first and all these guidelines and things that are put in place in islam not culture stuff religious stuff like like for example not getting married a secret is there because of these things it's literally there to protect you yeah and, and it's there to honor your rights kind of thing because you you know what i mean you, no guys just can come oh secret marriage you and get all get everything from you as as his wife but then you don't get recognition as a wife so you don't get respect from the community no L make sure people know that you guys are married you get me yeah. So anyway, I hope that helps. See you on the next one. Bye. It's a bit all over the place. Bye bye. No, it was good that one. No, it wasn't.